And we begin tonight with new data showing violent crime has increased in San Diego. But there is some good news. Property crime has decreased. Fox 5's Sarah Barker dug into that report and joins us live with more on those findings. Sarah. Susan, good evening to you. Yeah, Sandag says violent crime went up, but as you said, the good news in this data just released this month is that property crime did go down in the San Diego region. Now, the violent crime that we did see increase includes homicides and robberies. Sandag released data this month that shows halfway through the year violent crime increased in San Diego by 2% since last year. Sandag says the increase is because of more reported robberies and homicides, but property crime decreased by 2% since the same period in 2021. Sandag Senior Director of Data Science Cindy Burke says many changes in the data is because of the pandemic. When everybody was staying home. We saw fewer residential burglaries. We saw fewer rates. And now that things are um, back open and people are getting out and about, we saw increases in violent crime and some decreases in property crime. Data shows burglaries at businesses rose 19%, but home burglaries dropped. Meanwhile, car thefts increased by 4%. Motor vehicle theft is up. Um, and, you know, I can't help but think, you know, we know that there's a lot of. Um, a hot market for you know supply chain issues, um, used cars. So we're seeing increases there. We're very close to the border, so those vehicles can be stolen and, and brought across the border. South San Diego County resident Linwood Green says he's lived in the area for 50 years and hasn't noticed this uptick in violent crime. This is one of the safest places there is in the United States. This is paradise. Okay, I love it. Okay, and uh, I ain't going nowhere. Burke says despite the increase in violent crime, she wants to make sure San Diegans know America's finest city is a safe place to call home. We are at historic lows in, um, in San Diego County, and then when you also compare us to other large U.S. cities, we're also very low. Now, this data is only based on what exactly is reported to police. So Burke wants to reiterate that it's important to report every single crime that does get committed to police so they can make sure it's included in data and statistics like this. Now, this same report also broke down some crimes by regions in San Diego. We have a link to that up on our website, fox5sandiego.com, and just click on the CNON tab. Live along the Embarcadero, Zara Barker, Fox 5 News.